Hello and welcome to Animation in Flash. We are working on Lesson 4, working with text and text objects. As always, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build this based off of the items in our particular chapter in our textbook. So right now I'm working on Flash 2-34. And what's going on is it's, uh, I'm going to use my text tool, which looks like that text box right there. And then I'm going to actually highlight and create a text box. Now they say just click and it's okay, but it doesn't always work out that way. So I've already typed my information, or I put my text box in. Now what I'm going to do is put in, we have great events each year, including a rally okay so there we go there we are now you'll notice it's a normal text and things along those lines and just like you would if you were working in um, uh, word you've got to do the same thing if, if you want it to change the values of the text you make sure it's highlighted notice as i'm selected my text my character box is open so i can modify my character box and what i want to do is i want to change Arial. so it's Arial right there so my family i get this entire family font box I choose Arial and then I'm going to choose bold right so there's my bold option uh, the size is going to be 16 I could scroll it or I can just type 16 and that is uh, number six and then the color I can click on the color and once again I could try to find it or I can just double click on that and I'm going to type in the exact hexadecimal number for, for that which is hashtag nine nine zero 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 right and then I just click off the text box right here. Ah, now it turned it turned bad because I had uh, used an eyedropper. So I'll just do it again, which is fine. Nine nine zero 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 zero. Enter. Right, and now it changes it. Now you'll notice that it's all the way across. So if I take my mouse pointer, notice that it's a T. Right, so I could draw another text box if I wanted to, or I can click along in here. You'll notice as I drag it across this handle, it turns out a double pointed arrow, and that allows me to actually change the size of things. So I can resize this to actually be more akin to what I'm looking at right there. So now here's my box, and I'm happy with that. So, and mm -hmm, number seven is rearranging it, and then I want to actually choose my align center button. Uh, hold on just one minute. So now I want to do select the text using the I beam pointer. So I'm going along in here. I'm going to make sure my text button is selected. And I select the text here, my I beam pointer. And I make sure I use my center align. So there's line text, a container. Um, and my. I'm trying to find. Up oh, there's my align center. Should be right there. That's my alignment. And. Here's my par oh, is it my there we go. My in my paragraph section, my align center looks like this with justification in my regular, which it's not going to be a whole lot of difference here. All right, the next thing now you'll notice now I'm actually changing it as it appears in Figure 51 or fi Figure 50 where I'm resizing it, and all I'm doing is I'm resizing it down, and I'm sizing it like this. So now we have great events each year, including a rally. Now it's got to be car. So I click in front of the R and I type in the word car. Then I can actually just resize, or excuse me, move that bad boy around so it's actually right down here. Perfect. All right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the join us now as it appears in figure 51. So I want to go ahead and choose my text box tool. And I want to go ahead and highlight creating a text. Oh, come on now. Don't be bashful. For some reason it doesn't let me. So, oh, I have a delay. Delay a game. Come on. All right. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and pause this just for a minute. Why? Technical difficulties aside, what I'm now going to do, I'm going to create this, and I'm going to type join us now. Now, obviously, in this particular case, we've got some things to change. Um, it's got to be a 30-point font. So I made sure to highlight this bad boy here. I go over here to my font size. I type 30-point font. And then I go here, here to my color. And I'm going to type in 003399, right? And then I'm going to type 003399, okay. And there we are. So now we've changed that. Now the, the color number they've given me is... Really? 
So, zero, zero, three, three, nine, nine. Enter. There we go. Perfect. All right. So we click character, character on the properties panel to close the character area. So what we're going to do is we're going to close the character area. And the reason we're doing that is we open up another area and then close all areas of the properties panel except for filters. And what they're telling you there is just basically, hey, filters, let's see. It's not actually displaying the filters. Let's see. Oh. So I do here. Ah, there's my filters. So I have to make sure I'm a selection tool, sub-selection tool, and then we actually have our filters. And on our filters tab, let me restore my window right there. <laughs> when I had my technical difficulties, it rearranged the size of things a little bit. So at the very bottom of the page, let me see if I can. Ah, great. It's not letting me modify it. Here we go. There we go. At the very bottom of the page, I want to use this, which is the add filter icon. But what I want to make sure to do is I want to make sure this is selected. Now I've got my filters up, and now I want to add the add filter icon, which is this little, I don't know, it looks like a, a post-it note with something ripped away. So I want to click on my add filter, and I want to do drop shadow. Right? So that's going to add my drop shadow there. Then what I do is, since this is selected, I want to choose the angle value, right, which is right here. And I want to choose the angle, and we're going to do 50, right, which to you doesn't make a whole lot. I mean, doesn't doesn't look a whole lot of difference. And the distance value, we want to set the distance to 6, which the difference between 5 and 6 is not going to be big but you can see that's basically what's going on is it's coming back at a 50 degree angle and the distance is six points so now you can see the difference between the now and the other so if I change this to like let's say a 90 degree angle as an example it's going to come straight down if it's a 50 degree angle as an example now you kind of get it taught off some way and then distance if I change it to let's say nine point font it distances itself more. In our particular case, we're going to have it a 6.5. And that's where it is. Okay. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to create, and I'm on page flash 2-36, and we're on the classic car club. And what that's going to end up looking like is we're going to look and make it similar to what's going on here in the way of our look. So the next thing, and I've been doing it right here, so I'm going to change this and kind of bring it down. Oh, come on, you big poopers. There we go. So I'm going to select just this one, right? And I'm going to grab it, and I'm going to move it down to right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to create my text tool, and I'm going to draw my text tool right here, and I'm going to put Classic Car Club. Club. Classic car club now obviously when you're doing this thing if you look at figure 5-2 it's in a different color so I want to make sure since I've got it selected here I want to make sure to do here and I want to choose my red which is I think that red oh uh, well whatever red it is I'm not really that concerned about the right color uh, it's about that brick red right there all right so much better um, we want to make sure it's 40 and 999. So it's in my character, right? So I want to come up and do it, change it to 40 point. And I want to change my color to 99000. Oh, I randomly chose the right color. Well, yay me. All right, so I've done that. So I'm done with that. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click my selection tool, right? And I want to make sure this is selected, which it is. I want to hit my transform. And notice as soon as I hit my transform, I'm now down here in my transform menu. And I want to choose, or I've got my options down here, the rotate and skew option, which is going to look like this. So here's my rotate and skew. So my rotate and skew option is up. And I want to drag the top middle handle on the right to skew the text. So basically what's going on is, hey, I turn this on. The very first thing I'm, I can do this. 
and I can actually skew the text this way. Now, you'll notice I went here. I went here because I was attempting to elongate it, but I forgot I had chosen the rotate and skew. So if I just turn off the rotate and skew, go back to my selection, if you're like me, then you can change it and you can modify it. So you have to remember to choose the right selection tool to kind of modify what you're looking for. All right, so I've changed my classic car club. Um, we're going to collect the selection tool that's selected. Selected, sorry. Modify, modify. So let's let me pull this up so you're, you can kind of see it here. We're going to do modify. We're going to do a line and a line to stage. Let's see. Click the modify, point to a line, and then we want a line to stage. Oh. Okay, so there's our line to stage. It's already active. And then we want to click our horizontal center. Okay, so what's going on there is we're making sure the align the stage is. That's where it's actually going to align in reference to this. So now what we're going to do is we should be able to do, do our line. Just, let's see. Horizontal center. So it's actually centered that. And if I have multiple items selected, if I wanted to, I can select all these items at the same time. And I can choose my align horizontal center so it aligns them all to the center of the stage itself. All right. Now I'm going to click over here to kind of deselect all those things. Now what I'm going to do is I want to click my selection tool. And, sorry, selection tool. And I want to select the classic car club. And then I want to do modify and I want to do break apart. Now what that's going to do is that should break these all apart into its individual items. And then I want to individual take now I want to click modify in the menu bar and then click break apart again. Modify, break apart. Now you'll notice you have all these little um dots on them and what that indicates now if I wanted to zoom in that would give me an idea it look it would look similar to flash 2-37 um, figure 30 uh, 53 where I have the C totally outlined with what I want so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to come along and I'm going to gr grab with a sub selection tool and I should be able to <clears throat> grab an element and move it out here and then if I wanted to come in here I wanted to change that, so now I have, notice it's all my different gradients, so now I have the ability to change um, the different items right there, and that will actually bring us to the text layout. So the next thing I want to do is I want to open FL2, this is this part, I want to open FL2 underscore 4, which I've done. And our next section will now start with FL2 underscore 4, um, working with this item here.